Right, this is a diagram. Um, I've just drawn it up. I've done it this morning. And it's from the principles of the Word of God, the King James Bible, and the division and the law, the principles of the law. And this is a diagram of the effects of um, Freemasonry, priestcraft, and Jesuitism, secret societies and lies, unlawfulness, anything unjust, anything in our society which is wrong. And just by the principles and um, my testimony of Jesus Christ and the prophecy and his law, his mercy, his love, his, his fulfilment of the law, his giving of the law, his, cre his creation and purpose which is uh, preserved and given in the Old and New Testament and it's uh, a free gift and look at a scripture um, Isaiah 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 was a prophet 700 years roughly before Jesus Christ came to the earth and the Lord chose Isaiah as a prophet for Judah and Israel of the future captivity, the redemption and grace of, of, of Jehovah, his son, Jesus Christ, and the, the last days, the, uh, the kingdom age, uh, the, uh, the millennium, and the great day of the Lord, which is to come, which is future, uh, Jacob's trouble, the expected end. But I just want to, um, by, by drawing up how I... Um, principally measured uh, viewing the world so I've done a diagram so this represents the public view looking through up at to Parliament if you see the little scribble at the back that represents the bench the the houses in Parliament and that represents the chief whip so all, all this here, just above that line, represents the government, law, the lawful government, the principles of the government and the law, not the people, we're looking at the apparatus and the, and the law and the government, the principles of governing by righteousness and law, which is what our country is. Uh, established on um, lawful principles which are fair and just because we have the law, we have justice we have mercy we have peace, we have uh, love, we have hate, we have war so the top line it doesn't, it represents what's, what's balanced, what's fair, what's just so it's lawful, true Reg the regulatory body of law, policy, things on health, things on war, things on administration, things on right and wrong. It's already been established by the law, by the, by the principles of the law, the same principles that our government use lawfully has been established in Deuteronomy. 2 Corinthians 13.1, two or three witnesses, two or three lawful points in a straight line will balance justly because we have the principles of a just law so we could so policies can be and reg, regulatory uh, policy health what what should go in food all, all those things what's safe what's unsafe what's good for the public what isn't it's all been known about it's nothing new because we have a law we have the principles we have human beings with brains to utilise what's lawful and what's unlawful, what's just, what's unjust. So the top line <coughs> represents the government and the lawful apparatus and the people within that lawful apparatus, the human beings, the sinners, the lawful and the unlawful, the lawful that make mistakes and the un unlawful that get it right and the unlawful that are generally living for themselves and unlawfulness and the right who are living for right and the good of all the true 
what's right, what's just, what's fair, what's right for everybody concerned. Honesty, integrity, openness, rather than lip service. So, on 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 the left of the page, which represents the, the right of the that the seat in the middle is the chief whip. So imagine from his perspective, the left of the page is the right. So you got the the right true plus, and on his left we have uh, the opposite um, representing a lie. So it's all true. The top the top line is just consistently true. Left and right is true. The uh, diagram on the left and right of the seat of, of the chief whip is uh, negative and positive. Uh, that re which re represents unlawfulness or, or opposing that which is right in its own opinion. Because there's a division in mankind, there's either right and wrong, or up and down, or left and right. So they're representatives to make up uh, lawful points, lawful witness, lawful policies, which are thrust through on the bar to see if it, it balances, it's just or unjust. And then we have the opposing houses that stand for what's right. Whether they do or not as people, but that's the apparatus, that's the, 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 me the measure. The true lawful regulatory measure. Now, that's the government apparatus. That's not the individual that make up the government that fluctuates, ebbing and flowing. This is the apparatus to make lawful policy. Right, so this whole diagram is the light which is truth, openness, uh, lawful witnesses of what's accurately true and lines up and is consistent. The Word of God, the light, who's the Lord Jesus Christ, who's given us the Word, the Holy Bible, the Word of God, which has got the law and his prophecy, his heart, mind and will and truth, and his light, so by his word, revealing the hidden things of darkness, the lies, that which is against the light and the truth. And it's to reprove them all, all those that are unjust, and that would be from the word in Titus. Partly, which will show that all these things, Roman Catholicism, Islam, Freemasonry, Jesuitism, which are iniquity, they are elevating themselves, priestcraft, uh, one person uh, better than the other, robbing society of, of knowledge that they are admitting to share, so they can keep uh, people in ignorance and have the advantage over people so anything by the law by the just by the just principles that we've all, all always had and that have been established it's al already been in history by the law anyone can come and pick up the law and measure what's lawfully right and wrong that's what the holy word of god's for that's what the king james gave it to the public that was what um, Oliver Cromwell was fighting for, for freedom, inequality, liberty, and the law, righteously, not, not the law, un under siege by lies and Roman Catholicism, Islam, infiltrating, in, infiltrating our government and making it unlawful, make, putting these things back in, allowing these things, which they've already been dealt with. The book of Titus deals with it. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah dealt with it. Deuteronomy dealt with all these things because we have the law. We have a just mas um, measure. It's consistent. Adam, mankind, 
name the animals, did he not? Well, if you believe God, you believe his word, you know that Adam named the animals. So Adam become mankind, and mankind was the only person around naming the animals. So who, you know, so the word's either true or it's not true. And you can say, oh, it's 100% true, but I still don't believe in Jesus, because it's 100% true, and it shows it time and time again. Adam named the animals, and then, then we all had one common language. That language was confounded because we had the diversified, because we had the Tower of Babel, which is a repeat of this again. Man trying to lord it over people rather than the law, rather than the just. Man wants the one at the top, the little, the little, uh, the elect. All those, all those hiding behind here. Where are they? Hiding in the background, behind the back of the page. Mormonism, priestcraft, free Masonic priestcraft, Seven Day Adventist, Jehovah's Witness. All the Anglican and churches have been infiltrated and overtaken by this Freemasonry. It's been introduced into those those are bodies of people, those Christian bodies and it's corrupted them and turned them aside and uh, it's just uh, yoked them to this iniquity and made them guilty so Islam is unlawful Roman Catholicism unlawful Freemasonry unlawful, why? because it's unjust and it's not, it's not for the commonwealth of all people, it's for the commonwealth of the selfish and the lawless. Satanic worship. Why do you need to, if you don't believe in Jesus, why are you worshipping Satan? So Satan worships, worshippers are openly and lawfully against Christ, which is against truth, which is against right. And they lie. Oh, we're not bad people. We just lie and believe in Satan. Well, if you believe in Satan, you openly believe in Jesus and you deny him and you deny that Jesus is love, righteousness and, and right and wrong. Find a fault in Jesus, please. And then, then have a look at satanic worship and how they uh, just want to play politics and get loads of children. There's no, there's no governing head behind the human satanic church. It's, it's, it's by its own design, its own self, its own omission of Christ. Instead of Christ, you get you get uh, Satan worship, Mormonism, Freemasonry, Islam. You get all this iniquitous priestcraft, unlawful according to the standard measure of law. Consistent from the beginning, Isaiah, seven hundred years ago, the wisdom of God. Seven hundred years, <laughs> it's been on the earth since the beginning. The wisdom of uh, Jehovah revealed in Jesus Christ, given given in the book that nobody believes, so they miss out on all the obvious. So this was going to reveal the obvious to the public, because I've noticed uh, just recently on the news a a news uh, broadcast. So I'm gonna this 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 uh, diagram is like the if you know that the film They Live. And and the the, uh, the magic spectacles that open your eyes, so you can see, you see the uh, Illumini, the aliens, the infiltrated, um, conspiratorial uh, group and body that control things and keep people uh, captive to a delusion, an illusion. Well, this is kind of like the serial packet. Um, make your own spectacles and it will reveal I'll explain just basically the principles and, and it will unfold itself and following the principles of the gospel and the plan of salvation and the law I was able to expose this is not um, there's nothing hidden in this this is this is to by the word to expose those hidden things of darkness by the light so there's nothing uh, Gnostic or uh, there's no gnosis or hidden meaning in the, in this. It's just plainly as it is, and it shows how 
that gnosis, that lie, that hidden lie is all masked. So we're looking at the public perspective. Now I'll just put my... Um, <coughs> right, I'll just get some weights. Alright, let's get us weigh this down. And I'll, I'll line it up. So I've drawn over a disguise. I'll try not to get the cable. Right, that's near enough. Right. So let's get let's have a look. So that's the tea that you have to forgive my rubbish uh, drawings. That's the devil's device. I spelled device wrong, it's D E V I C E, never mind. T V. So that's the T V. The news broadcast by the lie. The mainstream media. Alright. So remember underneath what we got. We got media wash. So this line here represents though not the government behind and serving behind the public because the pub this is the public body. This is the uh, on the right we got the wrong real public face. That's the left, but it's on the right. And on the right, because we're look um, from looking out from that seat. This is the right, but it's looking from the page, it's on the left. This is the real public face. And I haven't coloured all, all the paging, but the bottom represents the public's perspective. What it sees looking out there. And they are the walls, they are the, um, the impression on the walls. It's a, a bipolar impression, it's a lie, it's an illusion. So it's like a shadow. These are the real results. These are the motives. So to, to the, uh, the right or the left is the effects of Freemasonry, unjustice, see the cross, the pink cross, that's the iniquity, that's the unlawfulness, because it's quite simple to tell, we know what lawful is, I've just explained it, it's consistently true, and it's always been true, and it dealt with Roman Catholicism, because this problem's not new, this problem's been around for centuries, this game is in man's nature, and the fruit of that nature builds up these priestcrafts, so all you all you need to do is understand the nature and then look for the apparatus. I'm just revealing what the word of God reveals by looking honestly behind the TV, through the TV, and how it all works, how it all plays out. So if I can quickly sh go through it, it's something that people could um, simply see it themselves and catch, catch the lies, catch the hypocrisy openly done to you so you can see it's willingly being done to you they knowingly lie to your face and like, this will prove it and it won't be able to be denied so we've got this devil's device the tv and we have all, all the uh, people who control the tv behind and not the government so this is the people the, the lawlessness people who infiltrate the government the powers who uh, entertain and associate with the government, like the government using the uh, BBC or the news, the news media, and the news media will p make right wrong and wrong right, and it plays out on the public, this fake image, this fake news, you get half-truths, you get confusion, you get debate, you get the shadow theatre, and on the left, you get the wicked people enjoying themselves because they're devils, they're liars. And that's their true motive, a devil, selfish and evil. On the right, you get the, the public fake, you know, tr there's the shadow. It tries to, tries to make out that everything's alright, that everybody's happy, that the people on the right are happy 
and the media will speak that oh it's all right in the world we speak for the right people they're all okay but the actual truth is if you speak to individuals they tell you something completely different because that's the true results that's the true face of the public that's what the media portrays so are you understanding now is it making sense so it clearly shows the motives of the freemasonry on the public image so that's the true motive that's what that's what the media doesn't show that's what the media shows so on the opposite that's what the media doesn't show that's what the media shows that's what the media doesn't show that's what the media shows open brazen leaving doesn't show you the motive but it's brazenly obvious it doesn't show you how people really think it thinks for you and what they really say and what they really do what politicians really think and it creates this fake image fake news oh we're all, all's well no one's got any complaints we've not heard any complaints we didn't know about it so we have this uh, TV right let's so up is down and down is up left is right and right is left and it can creates this false image this confusing image of dialect so we got positive is negative and negative is positive it reverts it, it shares this fake image because of this priestcraft 33 degree elevation, 3 degrees 3, 3, 3, deg three times 30 is 90 degree elevation which you build a, a, a stair landing on and that leaves 9 degrees over so on, on one side you get a plus deficit and on the other side you get a minus deficit because it's reverted by this dualism this priestcraft and the media creates this image in the world which is brainwashed because TV TV telly mind to mind telepathic telepathy tele telly vision Images, image, noun, images, plural, telepathic, mind to mind, visual images, true or false, it can either be all 100% true, potentially it could be all 100% false, but when they're in it, when they're behind it and they're not doing anything about it, you get confusion, you get lies, you get double speak, and you get this fake thick image portrayed and then they do all the talking right that's that's obviously true so here's here's some things to consider let me read the scripture just to make a point this is isaiah chapter 7 700 years before for christ uh, you won't find this in any, this has been taken out of all modern Bibles. So just consider that fact. Now I'm not going to read all the, all the book, I'm going to read, um, what did I write down, let's read. 11 to 16. So, the prophet, the word of God in the prophet, the vessel of the Lord's mouthpiece, he only had one mouthpiece and he revealed his will and word to this person, this man, this child, this child of God or this uh, prophet of God, this mouthpiece that the the, fa the Holy Father would, uh, through his word and by the Holy Spirit, would draw a vessel, call a vessel unto himself and teach him his heart, mind and will. And be and and that person would solely be the mouthpiece of the Lord, and this is um, one of those um, prophets, one of those vessels, one of those Israelites, Isaiah, being called to be the Lord's prophet. So I'm going to go to ver uh, verse eleven. 
Alright, first ten. Moreover, the Lord spake again unto Ahaz, saying, Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. So this is a, um, a reference to the heart, mind and will of Israel seeking a sign because of their unbelief. And the, re the response of Ahaz, this person, I will not tempt the Lord. And he said, hear ye now, house of David, it is a small thing for you to weary me, men, but will ye weary my, my God also? So the, the Lord is responding. Uh, it's a small thing for you to weary uh, for you to weary men, but will you weary my God also? So, in this circumstance, the Lord saying, "Well, f through faith comes a sign, and the Lord will is going to grant a sign because of this faith of this Ahaz, and it's not going to be we it's not going to weary the Lord now because uh, of asking for a sign." It's okay to ask for a, a sign because it shows faith. It's putting your trust, but if you have too many signs or if you, you're asking for a sign for the wrong reason, you're tempting the Lord, but not in this circumstance. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, it is a small thing for you to weary God, but will you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel means, simply means God with us. Salvation, God with us. And, uh, and, and that was Jesus Christ, to draw all men unto himself. For, for God sent his only begotten son, sent his word, his only begotten son in the flesh, to draw all men unto himself and the Father, through his son, through his word as he called the prophets and drew the prophets unto himself and he's going to get he's going to he gave this sign to Isaiah about that future prophecy which is which is fulfilled and this is what the the prophecy came with and included butter and honey shall he eat that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good for before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good the land that thou would abhorrest shall be broken, for, forsaken of both her kings. So that's a future prophecy. And that's referring to the Lord's childhood. So as the Lord's growing up, he, he would eat butter and honey as a blessing that he would always remember the goodness of God, of himself, of his, his testimony, his prophecy. Butter and honey shall he eat that he may know to refuse it's a sign it's, it's a testament it's a testimony so the Lord we know that Jesus would have eaten butter and honey now butter this verse has been taken out all the modern Bibles as as a, so has mammon the word mammon there's many more names but this is just another example of how these priest crafts the, these priest crafts corrupt the word of God and they use the word of God to understand how to operate these priest crafts because all these priest crafts, priest crafts are uh, learned from the word of God the plan of salvation the rule of law it's all the twisting of that it's all having the knowledge of, of the truth but knowingly like Satanism knowingly willingly being unlawful on purpose to have power over the brainwashing, brainwash, brainwashed public shadow perception of the real public face, their minds, their hearts and minds to be won over by the lie, by the fake news, by the devil behind all these priestcrafts, all this, all this um, black is white and white is black and all the images on the telly, all the, all the hidden uh, Gnosticism written into the images 
setting up idols and images and worshipping them in secret it's an abomination to God or, or Mo, Moses got all the Israelites to agree with to have a vote on everything they said amen to everything that was against God and the last thing was setting up idols and worshipping another God against the law against right in secret and the consequences of what that brings into a, a secret if your child's sneaking out and feeding a criminal and giving that criminal information and you ask that child are you, are you where's the food going are you giving it to you you need to tell me and if they lie they could potentially cut your throat up. you could have your throat cut and all your family killed it's no different than priest crafts brainwashing so, butter and honey, Lord should um, eat that he may to refuse the good and the evil. So, the principles of the law, we know that butter is good. We know butter is good because the word of God says so, but we all know, also know butter is good by lawful evidence. Now, when I left school in the 80s, mid 80s, I um, got some um, government um, medical nutritional information, a free booklet, on the, the um, nutrients, the trace elements and the major nutrients in dairy products and to examine the evidence and, and test it myself with other scientific evidence and I discovered through study that butter milk, cheese and honey contain all the necessary uh, vitamins and minerals the trace vitamins and minerals for to be part of a healthy diet for like, like a plant it lives on uh, nitrogen and phosphorus and it's got a ma it's got major elements it, it lives on major nutrients and then it has minor nutrients and elements just like humans just like animals just like in all uh, biological dietary needs it all needs the same building blocks all, all the different components of, of what's good and what's healthy protein fats vitamins minerals fiber all these things water that make up a healthy conditioned body lawfully temperately and justly because we have the lawful principles through through the law through the prophets through 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 all the kings through all king solomon king david the wisdom of solomon all these things are not new we've had the law and it's dealt with all these lies it's dealt with all these um All those, uh, you know, clergy, rabbis, orders of men, unjust orders of men, not 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 just orders of men, for for right living, and founded on uh, unleavened principles. But all these men that are lawless, out for gain, out for iniquity, out for injustice and by lies and deception and keeping the world brainwashed so they could be chief they could be lording it over people so we can see and I'll show you how they lie quite simply and then I, I, you, you will be able to see it yourself and design your own chart just to get it fresh in your mind so you'll be able to spot it without a chart so the pink line represents the tipping of the scales through through the through the the fruit the, the actions and and the continual lies lived out through the apparatus of the government and the ignorance and the brainwash public who aren't seeing it they aren't allowing it they're allowing it because they're not seeing it because they're brainwashed and they're deceived and so are the people in government they've been hoodwinked by the devil
by priestcrafts, by liars, by um, this lot, the lawless, unlawful according to the standard measure of law. Of our law in Great Britain, in the UK, that we've always lived to, whether you're a Christian or an atheist, it's kept us in good stead and it's given us our liberties and freedoms and it's preserved us from these liars and devils. Not Adam, but mankind who rejects law, who rejects right, rejects love, rejects truth, and speaks it. Oh, it knows it. Oh, yeah, it's it's the expert on it. It's the expert on what, right, what, what's right it true. But ask yourself, well, then why has nothing ever gone right then? Why do we keep getting these lies? But it's, it's so obvious. So I was fit, watching my tea. Uh, watching my tea, eating my tea, and I just happened to put the news on. I'll see what sort of, what news is on. And I caught this uh, story. Now, bearing in mind, when you get all these stories about, oh, should it, shouldn't it be on the shelf? Oh, should it be labelled? Well, let's review what the government knows and what it doesn't know. The government's lawful. It's always been lawful, so the knowledge is... Forget the people, let's look at the memory of the government law and history. So one, once um, Adam named uh, an apple an apple, is there any need to change it? We don't call it a banana. We keep it as an apple because we, 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 we have that common language. Although we got it's diverse because what what the law done, he didn't... He, he, he scattered us, so he divide us, and then he could show his glory by revealing the truth that we come from a common language. Now we can't see the uh, time of Tower of Babel, but we can see that we come from one common language, and we know we come from a common man, not a gorilla, not a chimpanzee, but one man. His name was Adam, mankind. He was the first, and he named the animals. And then, then the men named the things that would the, anything new was discovered, like the retractor or the ruler. Things that were made by hands that weren't around them, like a tree, like a grass. God told them what Adam what those things were, and God gave him free agency to name the animals. So Adam named the animals, and they've remained. There may be a different versions of Adam's language. We don't know the language that um, Adam spoke because it was a complete pure language of man the first man given uh, taught by God so it was probably um, Hebrew Aramaic a pure language that, that, that was diversified so we've always had the law the measure of law so it's a law that regulates so one, once a policy has been regulating like butter it's healthy it doesn't need to be changed because the law is consistent so when when the law changes it it's lying because it's admitting the knowledge that it all it's already lawful like roman catholicism it's already been built by the law lawfully and drawn up lawfully and measured lawfully you can't you can take it back into the law and remeasure it by the law and you're going to get a lawful result the same that it's unlawful because we have a lawful measure of a just law so the the people in the government know the law On the, on the debate, the, de the debate was cutting gluten in your food, right? So remember what we've been through. They've already regulated gluten, the government, what's safe and what's not. So there's no need for debate, is there? Because it's lawfully been established by scientists, regulatory bodies, all this testing. Think how long it takes uh, the, lawfully to get a medicine. It has to be lawfully tested scientifically in in a trials and the government might have four or five trials if it's not satisfied with the law the lawful outcome and it's not lawful they will put a stop on it like they won't legalize it they won't regulate it until they're certainly sure it's a lawful witness it's it's faithful it's not it's for everybody's best interest by the law teaches them the principles of the law so they know everything on your supermarket shelf already what's right and what's wrong so this lady was debating on TV 
on behalf of the government that already know the truth, that already know what the truth is, who already allow the media to portray the farce, that they don't know what the truth is. So they let the media play this rhetoric and they sit back and say nothing about it. Because they're liars and too, because they're, they're unlawful. So they're, they're, they're liars, they're unlawful, unjust uh, government. Because of the fruit. Because right is wrong. And wrong's only right for the wicked. And what what should what is right is not being done. It's wrong, and it's perceived as wrong. You're a loser, and then and then you get this public image that you've got to keep up to if you go against the the status quo. You know the happy. Oh, we're all well in the world. Everything's positive, but in fact, it's a lie. Everything's negative because they keep they keep selling you this spin. So you get this debate: should it be on the shelves? Shouldn't it be on the shelves? So this news debate was debating, and I've seen a hundred things, you, you'll get it on the news every single day, you'll get this confusion, you get this media hype, then they spin it out on the media wash, to brainwash people, to keep them in ignorance of the law, that the government have already regulated glu gluten in food, so why aren't the government saying, look, stop portraying this confusion on the telly to the public body, they're sick of it, we know that we know that tobacco has got chemicals in it that we add to it. We know that medication is has got poisons in it and it kills you, but we leave it for the public to allow it so we can wink at it and make money. We know this, but we're not going to say it on telly, are we? We're going to use the media because we're liars. Because we, you can see the fruit, ladies and gentlemen, of our lies. Because if we were honest, we would get true policy. So the government have a knowledge of everything that's right and wrong, but, uh, and they say, oh, you don't hear the government saying, well, look, we've known butter's healthy, you, you can get, you can look in their archives, you can look in the archives about all the legal decisions against Rome, read the uh, coronation oath, read the, uh, si read the uh, gunpowder gun plot what they knew then and what they deemed lawful and illegal then and why and, and nothing's changed it's the same cat church same policy no matter what they tell you on the tv their media it ain't going to be the truth is it look at all the paedophile rings so what's changed have they have they they started to become righteous and true well no they're the same liars aren't they because we see the same fruit nothing changes the same old media circus the same old shadow perception portrayed in the public image creating this dark division so you get these divisions on telly oh should we should we have guns well should we have guns in this country should we have guns in that country not oh is it right for guns in that circumstance and not this one no you're given a dialect oh you're a euro skeptic you're a non euro skeptic well, what happens if you're just true for the law? Once you're just a law-abiding citizen, you want what's right, not not to be a sceptic or or anything. You just want the truth. Well, no, because you're going to get the media and the government are going to deny it because they admit it because they admit everything. It, it's just denial because they're unjust. You see, they're liars. So this is my witness, and this is just a a key. Uh, uh, just that anyone can see the dialect. If you you look at the news, you'll see this rhetoric being played out on the TV hopefully this will open your eyes and this will be your they live specs, your x-ray glasses, you can see through these liars the simplicity of the truth by given by Jesus Christ as a free gift to the public and it may open your eyes to see who's behind it's not the government it's not the government it's not the law it's those in the government, the government servants they are those they belong to they don't speak out against so they're either admitting it because they are aware of the knowledge because it's all been in history going right back ancient times lawfully nothing's going to change you're going to put it in law again 
you're going to get the same lawful outcome when you put it on the scales. When you measure one ounce on one side of the scale and you put one ounce on the other side of the scale, you're always going to get an ounce. And that's how these lawful policies are measured. So if you get a lawful government, you've got an unlawful policy, and that lawful government gets back into power, they will expose that unlawful thing, and they can show it openly. Look, they've, they've done it skew with, they're liars. We, we've done it lawfully, and we've put it back, so butter's now good for you. You know, don't 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 have this margarine rubbish. It's poison. It's plastic, and it's all it's all profit for the corporate mammon, the unlawful Vatican City, and all their their lot. All the people that speak out, all the people that admit the pub, admit to tell the public the knowledge they know, and keep the public in ignorance, so they can they can play in their little priestcraft, and have all their favours and their little back scratched. And they're, uh, you know, fingers in one another's pies. Invest in, they're associated, they're yoked to iniquity. <laughs> all these lawless people. And they're playing all this against it, one another. Because it's selfish, its motive is selfish. And the public are allowing it. And the public are on a part of it. They're all part of the same thing. They're the part of the problem. Their ignorance is what is the cause of the problem because they allow it to continue because they're unlawful. And the government are unlawful. The world's under condemnation, John chapter 3. The Lord said you must be born again. Otherwise you're going to be slave to your sin, slave to your corruption and slave to this power and lie. No matter whether you know the truth, you can know the truth, the devil knows the truth and you can tell somebody the truth. But unless they believe and receive the forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ, they're, no, they're not going to be born again. Jesus said you must be born again. You must have his life to be saved and to see in the light, to know the light. You, you know, you can't live off borrowed light. You've got to have your own light. And, and Christ has given that light as a free gift. He shed his holy precious blood that all may, all may live. He suffered all people, all sins, to forgive people. That, it, that on, on condition of belief, it was a free gift that they would receive forgiveness forever. And they would know God, and he would sustain them and give them life. His Spirit, his Holy Spirit, to live in the kingdom and presence of his Father in heaven, in God, with God, with Christ, the Lord forever and it was a free gift and I'd like to extend that free gift to anybody who doesn't know that and anyone who's a, a believer of truth honesty family love righteousness soberness temperance mercy beauty kindness gentleness sincereness honesty all the good things that are not this and if you can see that in the world that the that that the tr all those good things are not being it's all lip service and and you can see why and you can see who are the people involved 30 to 3 degree masonry elevating themselves raising up the public in its own image causing this injustice on one side causing this injustice on the other it's the devil people don't believe the devil but the devil's the absence of God the denial of God and the devil is real because God is real. God created the devil. God created all things. So I'm going to close there and leave that with you. And a blessing upon our brothers and sisters seeking seeking the Lord's uh, edification and love and mercy. And I'm going to close there and wish everybody well. And Maranatha, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.